What's up guys? My name's Cody and we are back with another video. Today we're going to be breaking down how to use Santiago Ponzinibbio. And um, very fun fighter to watch, very fun fighter to use. I think he's kind of slept on in this game to be honest. Very good everywhere. And um, you know, you haven't been hearing his name a lot. He had a long layoff and he came back against the Leech. Unfortunately got knocked out in the first round. But the Leech is very dangerous on the feet, especially early on in the fight. And you know, that, that layoff is going to mess up your timing. It's going to mess up, you know, your flow out there. Especially if you haven't been getting in a lot of rounds of sparring. But sparring, can't you can't mimic, uh, you know, a, a full a full fight at the end of the day in the Octagon. So, you know, Ponzinibbio did come back against Miguel Beza recently. Got the win. Looked a lot better. And he's taking on Jeff Neal this Saturday. It should be a great fight. And I'm going to be showing here how to properly use him in UFC 4. So hopefully you enjoy the video. If you learned something, leave a like, leave a comment. Uh, make sure you're subscribed. We did hit 1,000 subscribers. So I really want to, you know, just shout out to everybody who clicked subscribe. Shout out to everybody who supports the channel, who's ever shouted us out. Anything like that, really appreciate it. That was a big number for us. And it's, it's really motivated me to really pump out a lot of videos. So make sure you turn those notifications on so you don't miss anything. I got UFC 4 content, fight night content, betting videos, and a lot of combat sports related uh, content coming your way. So with all that out of the way, let's get into a little bit about Santiago. And uh, first off, he is a kickboxer. He's going to have the out the gates uh, perk, which is going to help you use less stamina during rounds one and two. He's got laser focus, so straight Superman and spinning punches are all faster and more accurate. He's got fast hands, so his hooks, uppercuts, and overhands are going to be faster and more accurate as well. And then he's got crazy legs, so his roundhouses and switch kicks are faster and more accurate as well. So those are all some pretty solid perks on the feet. Next up, you got a 94 and a nine, uh, for the punch and punch speed and power, and a 95 for the accuracy, which is very high. You got a 91 for blocking, which is good, and as well for, as for the head movement, and then a 92 for the footwork, which is all pretty solid. You got an 85 for switch stance, so you're gonna primarily want to keep him in uh, the orthodox stance, and then he's got an 87 for takedown defense, which is pretty average. And then. Um, the kick power and speed is going to be 93 and 92. So he's overall got that four and a half stars on the feet. Very solid. Very good. Um, 87s for the takedowns. Um, not much of an offensive wrestler. You're going to be more so wanting to keep it on the feet. Uh, but he's not a slouch on the ground. You know, 88 on top, 87 on bottom, 86 subs, but a 90 for the sub defense. So it's pretty average. Not bad at all. At least average for the game. It's mostly just top fighters in this game. Uh, but you do have 88 for the ground striking, 88, 86 for the stri uh, clinch striking, and 85 for the clinch control. So, you know, a little bit below average in the clinch, but, um, you know, primarily going to want to keep the fight on the feet at kickboxing range and mix it up. Uh, you're going to have a 92 with the cardio, 92 as well for the chin, 91 for the body, legs, and recovery. So it's got good health stats. Four and a half stars is very good. Uh, as far as the top moves, you got the leg kick, the calf kick with the back leg. Those are both going to be four stars. Very good. And then as well with the straight and body straight, four stars as well. Uh, you're going to have a level three guillotine, which, um, you know, with his overall sub stat isn't great, but, you know, um, just something to keep in mind and um, with all that out of the way let's take a look at him in practice mode and so we can get a little bit of a deeper understanding of his moves all right we got Santiago in the practice mode we're gonna go down to game help go to view moves and let's take a look at his move list a little bit first off we got a level uh, level three jab and then uh, uh, four star straight and then back to the three stars for the lead hook and the back hook two stars for the boat for both side uppercuts and then three stars for the body jab, four stars for that body straight. So the straight's going to be four stars, whether it's to the head or body, something to keep in mind. Uh, the hooks with both hands are going to be three stars. And then the body uppercuts are going to be uh, two stars as well. And then he also has that spinning back fist and the haymaker. Those are both level or level three. And the lead overhand as well, it's going to be uh, two stars. Um, next up for his kicks... We got the lead calf kick two, but the back calf kicks four. Very good. Um, the lead body roundhouse is only a two, which isn't great. And the backside roundhouse is going to be two as well. And, and then same for the to the head, two stars. Um, then we're going to go to the front kick. It's going to be two stars as well to the body and head. And two stars to the body knee, two stars to the lead leg kick, and four with the leg kicks with the back leg. So... Definitely has good leg kicks, especially obviously with the back leg, but the rest of his kicks are not great. 
Um, so let's move on to the clinch a little bit. Uh, pretty average around the board for the clinch uh, clinch hooks and body hooks and uppercuts and body uppercuts, all three stars. And then you got uh, two stars for the elbows, knees to the head, knees to the body, knees to the leg, all two. And then you got... Uh, one star lead collar tie not something you really want to be looking to do too much and another thing you don't want to be looking to do too much is wrestle got a one star for the single and double one star for the wrestling takedowns and three stars for the bjj and judo takedowns so his trips and throws aren't terrible everything else not too great uh, as far as the ground uh doesn't have a lot he does have a three star for the ground straights and ground hooks and ground body hooks so his ground and pounds not terrible uh, but the ground body knee and the ground elbow are both two stars. You got a uh, the b body straights on the uh, ground are going to be a three, and then the ground uppercut is two. So not great, but his ground and pound is not terrible. The submissions got two stars arm for the arm bars, but three for the guillotines. One shoulder locks and two orthodox chokes. Really, maybe you look for a guillotine if you get a little bit of a stam advantage on your opponent and a denial. Other than that, you don't want to be looking to do too many submissions. Back to the feet, you got a two star for the boxing, one star for the kickboxing combinations, but three star for the Muay Thai combinations. A little bit confusing because he is labeled as a kickboxer and he's a lot of people know him as a kickboxer, but um, he does like to use his knees and elbows a little bit, so the Muay Thai combinations make sense. And that's about it for Santiago Ponzinibbio. Let's get into some fights. And we've got Santiago taking on a Yancey Maderos with another Division 20. Shout out to What a No Life. This is gonna be an, this is pretty interesting. You don't see a lot of Yancey players, and you don't honestly see a lot of Santiago players, even though I do think he's a sleeper pick. It's probably gonna be a striking fest, but we'll see. You never know. I'm gonna be looking to chop those legs a little bit. Use that level four cross to the body and head. But take this first round to just kind of let's feel him out a little bit. See what kind of player we're working with. If you're Division 20, you've probably had developed a style, at least. So let's see what let's see what we're up against here. Take the first round a little slow. Stay long. Mix it up a little bit. Give him some different looks. Ooh. Both exchange there a little. I think I got the better of it, though. Good job blocking the body so far. Ooh. That almost got a little dicey. I like that level 4 body straight, man. Everybody, well, I won't say everybody, but a lot of people, they really love the body hooks and even the body uppercuts, but the body straight, you'll slip punches with it, work the body, just tap them. Just tapping them, especially if you got a level 4 or level 5 on it. And that level 4 straight to the head, too. Ooh, good, good right hand there. Body work. Get back to chopping that leg a little. Yes, he does have hands. He's got some power. Us. Ooh. <laughs> Punch the air there. Oh, that almost got dicey. Luckily, it was just a jab. That was a good one. That one, that one might have fucked him up a little. You gotta check those, buddy. Slip that one in there. Ooh. 
Solid round. Solid round. Definitely doesn't feel like he's trying to do much other than box. Not throwing a ton of kicks. Not uh, really looking. I mean, doesn't look like he's going to be looking to do any wrestling. So, can probably open up a little bit. Still got good stamina, too. Should be damn near filled after this round break. Let's see. Should have a bit of a stamina advantage. I haven't really worked the body a ton. But I've stung him with some. So, I doubt he's full. Ooh, that was a good one. Good right hand. Ooh, another good right hand. Kind of slipped in. Alright, he's, he's throwing. I'm going to keep chopping that leg, though. Got some good combinations Ponzinibbio does. If they're dipping their head a lot, that lead uppercut cross, and you can add a lead hook at the end too if you want. Ooh, that was nice. That leg's pretty chewed up right now. Oh, yep. Oh, that was a that, that slipped in there. Better start checking those, dude. Slip that. Oh, I thought he was gonna walk right into range again. He's done it. He's on, honestly been just walking into range a lot, so it's been pretty pretty easy to just plan. And, Throw that in there. A lot of people throw that jab lead kick or uh, leg kick or like jab cross leg kick. But sometimes, man, if you can just get them to, if they're trying to pressure you, mix in just a planted like you know planted uh, leg kick. If they do a better job of checking them, you can mix in those calf kicks because Pontinibio has a great calf kick. But I mean, he's just not been checking it, so I. Been just throwing the regular. Oh, that was good. Oh, shit. Ooh. Just kickboxing. Does have pretty heavy hands though, so I just gotta be careful when I throw those kicks. Ooh, lead straight. Sometimes they expect the jab in front of it. And you can just go right with the cross like that. Especially if you got a nice level four cross like Ponzinibbio. Just blast it. Plant it. Plant your feet. Let them walk into range. And blast them. That was a solid round. Definitely won it. We're gonna hit him with a respect. I respect anybody who who does some, you know, picks people that aren't, you know, the champion of the weight class, or you know, four and a half and up and all that. You know, I if they pick them like that, sometimes I will too, obviously. But um, you know, it's nice switching it up a little from time to time. Trying out some new styles. It's fun, man. Trying to use a fighter you like and really fight like them. It makes the game very fun. Working the body a little. He's in southpaw, so... I mean, I'll stay. If he's not going to check him, I'm going to have to just keep kicking that leg, too. Typically, if I get him into a stance that they're not too good at, I'll start just using that to work the body, but... Um... Ooh, that was good. Oh, yeah. Can't be getting hit by those. Oh, okay, that was nice. Hmm. 
<laughs> just blew a little of my stamina with an ugly shot. And you know they're going to be coming for you. Most likely probably to the body too. Oh! That wasn't good. <laughs> a little... Oh, man. I should have countered right there. He had like no stamina. Work the body. Oh, man. He just narrowly missed, missed with a couple of those. Oof, tried to take his head off with that. Ah, that front uppercut. Oh, missed me. He is blowing some stamina. But he is also doing some serious damage. Gotta be careful when I go to the body. He's caught me twice while going to the body. I just... The body works worked, but it's high risk, high reward. Gotta pick your shots. Never want to throw to the body when they see it coming. I definitely have a nice stamina advantage right now. Oh, knocked down. That leg's messed up. Come on. That leg's pretty chewed up too now at this point. We getting the clean flash. We working the body, putting some pressure on him. Thought he might try to uppercut me there. Boom! We get the KO. Hey, GG's. That was fun. Respect to you for the pick. Good fight, respect. All right, next fight, we got a Mike Perry, and he's up on me. Division 20, and he's up 2-1. to one. And uh, I'm loving these picks, man. First, we uh, we take on a Maderos, now, now a Mike Perry. I like it. Respect. Respect. Now, uh, Mike Perry is dangerous on the feet, man. He's got power. His boxing's... I mean, it's not very... You know, I, I don't. I haven't looked through his move set, but I know that you know. I doubt it's his his uh, his boxing moves are that great. But you know, he's got power, and you got to be careful. That right hand will definitely start you. So I'm gonna try. Ooh, I'm gonna try to extend this fight a little bit. Chop the legs. Use my kicks. I definitely. Ooh, that not that. Oh, okay. Hmm. <laughs> Knock that one in there. Work the body, work the kicks. Ooh, yeah, you gotta be careful when I throw that for that uh that, that right hand. Keep him on my jab. Level four across the body. Ooh. Inside he's gonna have an advantage. I'm gonna keep him right there. Oh, that wasn't great. And he gets the the takedown for the stamina drain. Okay. Across the body. He's done some good work. I've wasted more stamina than I intended to. S solid player here. I'm gonna need to take my time. Let's get back on those leg kicks a little bit. Ooh. Okay, he likes that. He likes that uh, front leg roundhouse into the cross. This one here. Except to the head. Ooh, those landed. Chop the back leg. Getting some decent damage on that leg at this point. 
Ah, I keep not, I'm not expecting that to go to the head. It's so slow and ugly, but I'm expecting him to come to the body with that. Dude's definitely surprised me a little bit. Not that I didn't think he'd be good, but just done some things that I haven't expected him to do. Like those front leg high kicks. Slip that in there. Ooh, slip that uppercut in there though. All right, good round. I was competitive. He might've stole that round. Boom, good body uppercut. Respect. But we are going against Mike Perry. Even though I drained more stamina than I planned to, um, still fine. Still fine. And we're going to have a cardio advantage as the fight goes on. Need to do a little bit better, though, than I did last round. Stay on those legs. Stay on the body. Ah, he is slipping that front leg roundhouse in there. <laughs> what do you think? Should we mix in a little bit of grappling? It is Mike Perry. Clinches me back. I get the breakaway. Land some good shots. Ooh, good right hand. I keep doing that. I am really not expecting him to go up top with that roundhouse. It's so slow and awkward looking. It's definitely a level one kick. And he's landed it four times. Back up. Back up. Ooh, yep. Gotta be careful when I go to the body on Mike Perry. Cross. Ooh, okay. Get back to chopping that leg a little bit. Oh, that was a good one. Nice. Well played. Ah, he keep okay. I need to I need to fucking switch that up. Cause I know anytime I Put him there, can make him miss or something, and I have a good opportunity to go to the body. He likes to do, which is another thing I like to do too, so I like it. Um, he knows I'm, I'm looking to go to the body, so he just throws that upper out there. He's caught me twice with it. Oh, oh a nasty body hook finish. Let's go. Respect, good fight. Hey, I might have been down 2-0 going into that. So that was a that was a pretty sick knockout. But GG's, man. Respect on the Mike Perry pick. All right, last fight. We got Obama Yo Mama. And another interesting pick. He's got Anthony Pettis. So, uh, I mean, you see Anthony Pettis from time to time. But he's definitely not one of, like, the super meta picks that you see. So, um, respect on these picks from, from these other players tonight. Um... You don't honestly see a lot of these too often. I tried to tap it up. I respect the bow. All right. I'm, I'm assuming he's going to be trying to, you know, Pettis obviously has some really good kicks. He's uh, got a lot of power. Doesn't have the best cardio, though. I'm going to try to take these to the later rounds. And chop that leg. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought it. I recentered. But if he's going to move right into that, that works for me.
Oh, good check. Might honestly be one uh, makes in a little bit of grappling too. Ponzinibbio, well, might be tough to take him down, but if I can catch him off guard. Ponzinibbio does not have the best takedowns. Ooh, especially like wrestling. Watch out, he's probably looking for the knee. But that works. Deny that. Posture up, his ground and pound's not bad. Mix in a little bit of that. Especially early rounds is why I really want to be up on top of this guy. Sap a little bit of Anthony's gas tank. He won't be as dangerous. Ah. Yeah, that was bad. I rushed it there. He's not doing a very good job of escaping, so I should probably keep him there. Oh, okay, wow. Especially when I know he's just going right for it. Ah. Should have took my time a little bit better than that. Gave him the grapple advantage. The stam advantage real quick to stand up. That's it. Oof. Oh, oh, that was nice. Forget Ponzinibbio has those level 3 Muay Thai combos, so. Oh, oh, wow. I thought he was going to end his pull and right into my uppercut. He just held it. Ooh, that was nice. Ooh, okay. Good round, good round. Okay. If I can find another little scenario like that to put him down, get him get on top of him. First by the third round, I should be good. I should have a nice, solid stamina advantage. I mean, I don't think he drained a ton in the last round, but more than I did. Oh, well, speaking of which... Ooh, okay, he knows. Doesn't want to get on the cage. Ooh, good job. Trying to catch him lunging with one of those hooks. There it is. Oh, he still pulled that cross. Ooh, that was nice. Ooh, ooh. Shouldn't have been pushing in when my health head health was still low. Ooh, that was nice. Ha <laughs> ha Try to catch him body hunting. Just rushing it a little bit. I need to take my time. Let me go back to that leg kick a little bit. That was a good one. Oof. Let's, oh, that was a big whiff. Oh, no. Ah. Come on. Oh, God. Oh, got to get him off me. I'm trying to break my block. Try to catch him off guard a little bit. That was a bad shot, though. 
Oh, he slipped and got ate that check hook. Okay, well, hey, <laughs> those slips, you, you know, high risk, high reward, but good fight, good fight, respect. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something. And uh, if you did, make sure you leave a like on the video. Make sure you uh, drop a comment. Let me know what you think. And let me know who you got in the fight th uh, this weekend. Jeff Neal or Ponzinibbio. And while you're at it, let me know about that main event because I'm pretty torn. Who you got? Dustin Poirier, Charles Oliveira. Let me know in the comments. And uh, make sure you click the subscribe button. Click that bell. Turn your notifications on so you don't miss any of these videos. And I will see you guys soon. Peace.